Welcome to second of May's Godly Blessing. Now there's something known as a balance. A balance between self and a balance between what we do for others. Sometimes in our life we complain, I've been doing so much for this person but then I feel drained out. Yes, there's a reason for that and we're going to explore that reason today. The reason for draining out is we are not taking care of ourselves. And it can be physically and mentally. More importantly mentally because if you're mentally you're sound, mentally you are peaceful, mentally you don't have any waste and impure and useless thoughts in your mind, automatically your body will behave in the same manner. If you think a lot of negative thoughts, impure thoughts, you will feel lethargic even in your body. It's mind over matter by the way. So let's go and explore this beautiful Vardhan which God has to say. He says, may you become an embodiment of success. Now he's not talking about success only in spiritual service. The same knowledge can be applied for your home, when you're taking care of family, your business, your job or any organization. God says, may you become an embodiment of success by serving yourself and everyone else with your original sanskar, that means habit, of paying attention and practicing. So it's about paying attention to what, to whether my thoughts are good or not, to whether my thoughts are pure or not, to whether my thoughts are wasteful, to whether my thoughts are useless. And if they are, remove the waste, remove the useless, keep the nice ones. That's what we do, right? That's what we do. We choose, whenever we go to the market, we choose the right vegetables. We don't choose the vegetables which have got worms in it, right? So we separate them out. Similarly, same things have to be done with our thoughts. Useless thoughts, waste thoughts, weakening thoughts, draining out thoughts, out. And that's what we learn in Brahma Kumaris. But for that, you have to understand and know the knowledge of what is waste. So God says, the original sanskar or habit of Brahmin souls, those who have taken the Brahma Gyan, or who have taken the Raj Yoga Vidya at Brahma Kumaris, are known as Brahmins, is of paying attention and practice. Throughout the day, they pay attention of who am I and who do I belong to. And practicing on removing waste and keeping useful. Therefore, never have, therefore, never have any tension while paying attention. It's a practice. It's something which cannot be done one day. You cannot be going like, Oh, I'm feeling angry. I'm getting irritated. Why am I having this kind of thing? I'm feeling stressed about having this irritation. I'm feeling overwhelmed by this anger. I'm feeling overwhelmed by these lustful thoughts. No, don't get into the stress of it. It's important to look at what is going on within you, but as a detached being and accept what is going on within you. If you push it out, force it out, then your more focus goes on to pushing anger out. Your focus should be on bringing peace in, not pushing anger out. You see, there's a difference. Energy flows where attention goes. So flow the energy towards peace, not towards removing anger. I am not able to remove anger. I'm not able to remove ego. I'm not able to remove jealousy. No, focus on what you want, not what you want to remove. And that is the main thing which we do in Brahma Kumaris. So that's why no tension, only attention. Always serve yourself when you are serving others. First take care of yourself, that means check your mind. Is my mind stable right now? Is my mind thinking pure thoughts right now? Is my mind getting irritated right now? Because that is the energy I'm going to transfer. Those who put aside serving themselves and engage themselves in only serving others, that means they are not progressing. They have, it's like you have a house which is dirty and you now try and go and clean somebody else's house or help somebody else to clean the house. But what about, right? So. Take care of your house so that you are feeling peaceful, clean and then with that clean energy you or thought you go to somebody else's house. Same thing over here. You are trying to help somebody else to become somebody else to become powerful, somebody else to face situations but face your own situations first. Take care of your own situations, take care of your own mind, take care of your own thoughts, make them pure, make them divine, make them powerful and then only help somebody else to become powerful, divine and peaceful. How about that? So charity begins at home. This is your home. You first. So God says, those who put aside serving themselves and engage themselves in only serving others cannot have success. They'll spoil their mood also. They'll spoil somebody else's mood also. Therefore, keep a balance of both and move forward. Do not become weak. We become weak. We become weak when we focus more on others and less on ourselves. That's why you see in worldly relationships also, you say, oh, I've done so much for this person in the past so many years and now I'm tired, I'm drained out, I can't do anymore. Why are you tired? Why are you drained out? Why didn't you focus on yourself? Why didn't you focus on your own energies, your own uh, 
career, your own future, your own life. And why did you sacrifice everything for that person? Lack of wisdom. And to bring back that wisdom, it is important that we come to Brahma Kumaris and get that wisdom back, get our life back. And Brahma Kumaris is helping you to get your life back. Then God says, do not become weak. You are the victorious souls who have become instruments many times. Think what? When are you feeling weak or tired? You think of yourself, I am a victorious being. I have to focus on myself. Let me take a break. Let me focus on my mind. Let me remove the muck in my mind. Impure thoughts towards anybody. Negative thoughts towards anybody. Hurtful thoughts towards anybody. Revengeful thoughts towards anybody. Let me clean my mind so that I don't drain my pure energies out. See, the soul is pure originally, but we drain ourselves out by all these useless base thoughts and by not removing them. If you don't clean your house on a daily basis, how does it become? Same. Your mind is your house. Your intellect is your house. You have been keeping all that hatred, all those hurts inside you. And what is going to happen to your house one day? It's going to go into depression. It's going to go into stress. It's going to go into any form of negative attitude, anxiety. These are all results of what you have been keeping inside and harboring for a very long time. The smell of that of that muck is in your house, this house too. So clean it and meditation helps you to do that. Then God says this is no hard work. There is no hard work or difficulty for victorious souls. You are victorious. You can be victorious once you come over and learn the spiritual art in Brahma Kumaris. Om Shanti with this.